this may seem like nothing. Oh, but to me, to me, that's progress. I can go that way. It's when I start going that way forward that hurts a little bit. Still can't skate, but we're getting, we're healing. We're progressing. Session. You can see here that we are a playing session. And I, I give it another week and I'll be back on the board. I just really don't want to start skating too early after this injury and, you know, re-injure it. Those of you wondering what happened, we separated my AC joint snowboarding and it was a very mild separation. So no surgery or anything. Um, but we're Ah, he looks like he separated his AC joint just then. I know what you guys are. Garrett, you've been playing this map for the past two weeks. I know, all right? I'll play something else. I've really been liking that map, though. You know, there was this one map. Uh, it's called Schoolyard. I've really been liking it. <laughs> just end up back here. All right. One quick walkthrough just to, I don't know. I like the way that this map looks. I'll skate something new, though. How about that? We won't skate the same stuff that we keep skating. I don't even think I've skated this, uh, this rail. I don't know why I think Anija when I want to do this trick, but... Oh, the, I actually locked in... Oh, look at those flies. I feel like I rarely... <laughs> I feel like I rarely do what I'm trying to do in this game. I got in first try. Now I'll just never get in again. Yeah, that was that was a one and done. I'm just getting worse. I think I'm getting worse at this game. Perfect. That's what I was trying to do. You know what they say. More speed, more power. NVIDIA GeForce Experience, why did you just turn on? It knew, the game knew that I was about to hit a nasty backsmith, so it just wanted to let me know that my NVIDIA, god damn it, I hate this game. That was so not a backsmith, but it was kind of cool, so I'm not complaining. There's no purpose to this video. It's not gonna be like exploring a new map or this game changing mod, none of that. I just wanted to play session because I really want to go skate, but I can't. I do feel like uh, our fit's getting stale though, so I'll switch it up a bit here. Let's do blue, why not? I do like the baggy denims. I mean, we can do, should we, oh, is blue on blue bad? Blue on blue is bad. Maybe we do, what am I, okay. I'm wearing jorts, hear me out. Oh yeah, we got. The blue jorts on, and I'm wearing a gray shirt, so maybe there's gotta be just a gray t-shirt, right? What kind of game doesn't have a gray t-shirt? Are you serious? Is that gray? It's gray enough, apparently. And then do they have jorts? Please tell- <gasps> They got jorts, baby! Hey, this, I can't believe I'm about to post this on the internet. This is my feet. <laughs> this is my feet right now. And we, <laughs> so we're, we're rocking barefoot. Where are my toenails, bro? That, <laughs> that is a replication of me currently. And then fine, we'll skate something else. We'll just go, we'll go to New York City. Dude, <laughs> I gotta have the worst fits in all of skateboarding games, whether it's the Skater XL fit or Session. I just, I can't do it right. Dude, it's been a while since I've played anything but that schoolyard map, to be honest. Feels weird. Oh, I forgot there's like people. I can never get people to show up in the schoolyard map for whatever reason. So I kind of forgot that was like a, uh, forgot that was a thing. Wow, I, I kind of missed this. I've been all hyped on the schoolyard map lately, but seeing people walk around and being able to skate with my dogs out. Why did every sentence I end with me falling? Let's get some realistic tricks because that's why we play this game for realism over Willy. No, excuse me, pardon me. I do want to get a back nose blunt. I might have to up my pie, my, my pie, my pie hop. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I, I wasn't trying that, but I've been wanting to learn this trick on like any, like whether it's just a four inch curb or something. I've always thought that's the coolest trick where you go to do a back nose bun, but you over rotate it to switch 5-0 or whatever you'd call that. That would be insane. Now I kind of want to, now I kind of want to try that. Okay, 50 bucks. The only problem is... Okay, I got that. Damn, next try. Uh, it might have dipped into 50-50, I think, there, which is still a really cool trick. Like, at, like what, alley-oop back 180 switch 50? Popped it. Uh, dude, that would be such a sick trick. Okay, I gotta get that clean. 
<laughs> Improvement though, the first time I would sneeze with this injury was it's it's manageable now. I just realized I think I was doing the input backwards. Hold on, let me try. I was okay. That makes it so much easier. I was doing the wrong input. I was doing the Skater XL input, but that is so sick. Minus the bounce glitch right there. I hate that. Anyway, nice, nice little warm up barefoot trick on uh on the hubba. And just go for a nice cruise. If you watched one of my last videos, I have been messing. <sighs> I have been messing with my. Whoa! Are my feet dirty? I swear they didn't look like that before. They're like reverse dirty. I feel like the dirt should be on the palm of it, and then the side should be. I can't tell if they're getting dirty or if that's just a weird. If that's just how they are. Anyway, what I was saying is I've been messing with my settings a little bit. I made a video where I sort of talked about finally going through and adjusting my settings depending on what I skate, which is, is what I should be doing. I do read through all of my comments. And I think someone was saying something about my flip and scoop speed being a little slow. So I did want to try messing with that flip trick said, it, oh, is it this? I used to have all of this so dialed and then my computer blew up um, and I had to start over and I just never got as into it again. Input speed. Yeah, I think I want that. All of this looks right, at least for me. I don't want to get too nitty gritty into it. Flip speed. Let me just see if this does what I think it does. Yeah, okay. Damn, I know this is way, way too fast, but like, <laughs> why does it kind of look sick? Like, I I'm gonna lower it, don't worry. But like, I kind of like it. Hold on, this is gonna be, this is gonna be stupid. Dude, it's kind of sick, I don't know why. It's reminding me of the Janowski, oops, the Janowski tray flip trick tip when people can just like so effortlessly flick them. Why do I kind of like that? It might just be because it's new. It's like switching it up a little bit. Cause you can still, ow. You can still slow flip if you flip slow, yeah. Maybe this is, maybe this is how I start skating from here on out. Cause like, let's say I want to do a slow tray flip. Can I still, oh. It's still a little quick. No, you, dude, you can you can still fully slow it down if you want. I'm, I might be on to something here. I obviously went to the extremes, but like, let's maybe do, let's just even it out at, uh, at half. Cause I should be able to do pretty chill, um, flat ground trays. Yeah, like that. I feel like that, that's a good speed for flat. But then if I'm skating a drop or something, I should still be able to slow it down. That's it. I, I found my new settings. What are those guys looking at? For what that guy just. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look at us finding new settings. Almost cool. I want to play a fun game called Let's Farm for Comments on my YouTube video so it can hopefully get more engagement. <laughs> if you could have one thing added to session and this could be something that i know a lot of people want is an animations update whatever that means you know so that some of the flip tricks look less robotic whatever it can be something as, as simple or as crucial as that to something just completely out there like i was talking about i wish your your pants could rip while you're skating you know small details like that i want to hear the the public's consensus on if anything could be added to the game within you know, realistic reason, what would it be? And then, uh, Creature Studios, if, uh, someone's watching this, take that into consideration, you know? I'm just saying, it's worth, uh, worth thinking about, okay? Could be some good ideas in there. I like these little bumps, whatever they're called. This is probably the last trick I would ever do, because I suck at shove in real life, but for some reason, like, I shot or something, I could just picture a huge front shove, even, like, a front big spin. But you gotta rotate it all late like that, where you do the front shove, then rotate it. You know what I'm talking about. Dude, my settings, I, I don't <laughs> I don't actually know what I changed. I think I just changed the flip speed. But like my settings are feeling. Never mind, take it back. I hate doing burial flips. Dude, my settings are feeling good right now. Let's go somewhere new. Maybe we can still do let's go to let's go to Pyramid Ledges. I still can't believe I went to New York and I didn't go to like any skate spots. I feel like I've missed out on life experiences as a skateboarder I should have experienced. I tried to do a trick just then. 
Imagine, dude, doing that barefoot would be insane. Oh, I think I got completely distracted. But what I was going to say, my answer to my previous question about, you know, if anything could be added, what would it be? I think it would be, and I've seen people comment this too, being able to run out of tricks or like instead of just ragdolling because like let, let's say you know i'm trying something and i i don't land it right of course i landed it a force bail option would be cool too you know how you can force bail in skate three come on please just let me fall why am i landing everything i'm not trying to land anything thank you instead of just ragdolling and getting bodied right you know how in skate three i think in skate three there's only like two animations i think it would be cooler if it if it could be more immersive somehow but like you know if you're skating stairs and you mess up a trick maybe you maybe you roll out of it like you do a sort of somersault thing or and then getting even deeper into it maybe you can like roll your ankle you can start seeing like little details like that i don't know game has done that probably for a reason but i think that'd be so sick i have a line in mind we're gonna do <laughs> crook and then i want to try i don't think it'll be hard but i want to do um front tail laser flip because i don't that's a sick trick that's a really sick trick you never really see people do that. Wow. I, 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 that's gonna be my next trick that I learned. Cause I can do front tail, front heel, front tail, big heel, and front tail 270 heel. I can do all of those in real life. So I'm pretty comfortable with heel flips out of uh, front tails, but I don't think I've ever done the laser. Well, I want to go do that at some more spots. You already know we're ending up. I'm I'm not sorry about it. We're going here. It's a ledge trick for sure. You wouldn't be doing that on any uh any handrails or anything. So we gotta find honestly, maybe even just one of these flat ledges. Almost. That's the hard part though, is gonna be getting the for the full 270 rotate. See that. You shouldn't have got bodied on that. I wish I could have rolled out of that or put my hands on the ground or something. Is my grind height to grind pop height? No, it feels right. That was just super weird. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's a really cool looking trick. Yeah, something about that. It, like, obviously skateboarding is all circumstantial, whatever the word is, but I think that looks sick. Bro, my settings are feeling good. I, I actually couldn't tell you what I changed or why they feel better than normal, but I think I tightened my trucks a little bit and then I changed those uh, settings, the, fl the flip and scoop speed. Dip violation right there. <laughs> this reminds me, <laughs> when you were a kid, did you? Never mind. I never know where to put my my front thumb on the controller when I'm doing Smiths or Feebles. I think I always put it to... Okay, let's try something. I just want a... D -d 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 -d. How do I go to like grinds? Yeah, so I, I usually go all the way to the side when in reality I have to go like up and to the side. That's something that I have to work on. It's like I'm learning how to do a real trick. So let's try adjusting our feet. Nope, let's try again because in theory... So that wasn't the right angle. That, that hurt. That would have hurt so bad. See that? I'm, I'm looking at my fingers and I'm doing the wrong input. It's super frustrating. Like, it's not the game's fault. I just can't. Mm. It's always been Smiths and Feebles in this game. I felt myself do it too. You can see right here, the input was right. I was doing the controls right. I had my feet at the right angle and my fingers at the right angle. But then here, for whatever reason, my my fingers like slowly, it's like rotating down. So it slipped out. There we go. A little wonky at the end, but uh, at least we're able to do the whole, <laughs> do the whole grind. Really test our skills. If we can do a uh, front feeble down El Toro. That's how you know you got a trick down. I can't. Maybe that speed. Doing the wrong input. I don't quite know how to put this into words, but I'm going to try to explain my brain right here. It's nice in this game or any 
Uh, oh yes, there it is. Um, any simulator, not not even like skateboarding simulator, but any simulator. It's nice when the something doesn't work because you're doing it wrong. If that makes any sense at all, like if I was trying to front feeble and I was doing the right inputs, but the but the game wasn't doing it, I'd be getting super frustrated and oh, hey, it just doesn't work, blah blah. But like just like real skateboarding, it's not the skateboard's fault you can't land a trick. It's because you're doing something wrong with the skateboard. Um, ow. I don't know if that makes sense. I think that, that that's the appeal of simulators to me. Even if it's like like the with the full motion racing sim, like if with Assetto Corsa, if my car is spinning out, chances are I'm doing something wrong input wise. It's not the game's fault. This is a cool spot. This is supposed to be like LA high school or something, right? There's some school in LA that has these like angled brick banks that I've, I've never actually skated, but I do think that Blizzard Flip would be really cool. <laughs> Oh, that'd be so sick. What's over here? Oh, just a giant grass hill. <laughs> All right, I'll slow down with the videos on this map. I, I'm sure some of you want a little bit of variation in the videos, but I, I have been having a lot of fun with this map. I don't want to get stale for myself either. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the session content and the Skater XL content too, as much as I've been making it. And then hopefully, you know, once the, the shoulders healed up, we can go back to real skating as well as bring out the full motion racing sim and do some drift content and all of that stuff. So thank you guys for watching and um, catch you next video. Peace out.